Diadem Sifaka. The Diadem Sifaka, Pupithecus diadema, is a species of lemur found in Madagascar. Lemurs are a type of primate that is endemic to the island of Madagascar and the nearby Comoros Islands. The Diadem Sifaka is one of the many unique and fascinating species of lemurs that inhabit Madagascar. Here are some key features and characteristics of the Diadem Sifaka. Number 1, Appearance. The Diadem Sifaka is known for its striking appearance. It has thick fur that is primarily white with a golden yellow crown on its head, which gives it the diadem or crown appearance. Its face is dark, and it has a distinctive black nose. Number 2. Habitat. This species inhabits the eastern rainforests of Madagascar. It prefers the canopy of the forest, where it uses its specialized leaping and climbing abilities to move through the trees. Number 3. Diet. The Diadem Sifaka is primarily herbivorous, feeding on leaves, flowers, and fruits. It has specialized adaptations in its digestive system to process the high fiber vegetation it consumes. Number 4. Behavior. Sifakas are known for their unique mode of locomotion called vertical clinging and leaping. This means they use powerful hind limbs to leap between tree trunks and branches. On the ground, they move using a sideways hopping motion, which is quite distinct from the typical quadrupedal movement of other primates. Number 5. Social Structure. Diadem Sifakas live in small groups, usually consisting of an adult pair and their offspring. They are known for their vocalizations, which include loud and distinctive calls used for communication within the group and to establish territory. Number 6. Conservation Status. Like many lemurs, diadem sifakas are facing threats due to habitat loss caused by deforestation, as well as hunting. They are listed as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, but due to these ongoing threats, the Diadem Sifaka, like many other, lemurs and wildlife species, faces a range of biological challenges that impact their survival and well-being. Some of these challenges include Number 1. Habitat loss and fragmentation. One of the most significant challenges for Diadem Sifakas is habitat loss and fragmentation. Madagascar's forests are being cleared for agriculture, logging, and human settlements, leading to the destruction of the Sifaka's natural habitat. As a result, their living space becomes fragmented, making it harder for them to find sufficient resources and increasing their vulnerability to predators. Number 2. Limited Range. Diadem Sifakas have a relatively small and specific range in eastern Madagascar. This limited range makes them particularly vulnerable to habitat loss, as they do not have the flexibility to move to new areas if their current habitat becomes unsuitable. Number 3. Specialized Diet. Diadem Sificus have a specialized diet that consists of leaves, flowers, and fruits. They rely on specific plant species for their nutritional needs. Habitat destruction can lead to a reduction in the availability of these food sources, making it harder for the Sificus to find adequate nutrition. Number 4. Reproductive Challenges. Lemurs in general, including Diadem Sificus, often have slow reproductive rates compared to many other mammals. They typically have small litter sizes and longer gestation periods. This slow reproductive rate makes it more challenging for their populations to recover from declines caused by factors like habitat loss. Number 5. Predation and Competition. Predation by natural predators and competition with other species for food and resources are common challenges for Diadem Sificus. As their habitats shrink and resources become scarcer, they might experience increased pressure from predators and competitors. Number 6. Climate Change. Climate change can have various impacts on Diadem Sificus and their habitat. Changes in temperature and precipitation patterns can alter the availability of food and water sources. Extreme weather events can also disrupt their habitats and increase stress on populations. Number 7. Human Activities. 
human activities such as hunting and poaching can directly threaten Diadensificus. They are sometimes hunted for bushmeat or captured for the pet trade, both of which can significantly impact their populations. Number 8. Disease and Health. Lemurs, including Diadensificus, can be susceptible to various diseases, some of which might be exacerbated by habitat degradation, stress, and interactions with human populations.